How or why weren't the 4th of July of is so incredibly hot. I don't know where you are, where I am today in the Houston area. We are going to hit three digits. Yep. A hundred degrees today. And when you add our humidity on top of that hundred degrees, we are going to feel like 115. Like we're in Vegas or Arizona, but not with the dryness that's in Arizona and Vegas with this impressive humidity. It's like being in a sauna. I mean, really, let's just be honest and call it what it is. So what am I doing with today? Because I obviously have my makeup on right today. So this is not a get ready with me. I'm already ready. I thought I'd do something a little bit different today. Happy 4th of July, everybody, by the way. I hope you have a splendid day off. I hope you get the day off. If you don't, thank you for showing up to work. That's really hard when the Practically 90% of the nation is off and you got to go to work. I know that's just, that's hard. And thank you. Not, a, not, you probably don't hear that a lot. So thank you. So what I want to talk to you today about, and what's this video all about? You guys know that I am a small business owner. I have two very busy companies. Um, one in particular, which is my insurance agency, which is, very busy um but i've also had it for nine years um so it is my it is my primary uh attention getter if you would it's what i spend 90 percent of my time on. the other two are fun i'm not saying insurance is fun right now it's not fun though i'll just be honest with you every day is like being in a uh trench in a war that's literally what we're in, in a war, the insurance industry. And the war is between customers and carriers. And unfortunately, as agents, we're kind of in the middle. So we get ammo coming from us from both directions. But that's another story. But what I wanted to talk to you guys today about is I had a very great message from a, a, a viewer talking about expenses and how expensive everything is and it is it is we're all feeling it i mean i went to the store today to get a hose so i could water my plants because the last ones we bought didn't last very long they weren't cheap but they weren't i don't know what happened they just they they weren't as traditional hose they weren't these flexible hoses and it didn't even make it through the summer literally we bought it i think in march so three months they didn't even last didn't even last through the houston summer so i had to go to this store today and generally speaking when we need that kind of stuff we go to tractor supply because there's a lot of ranches around where we live and so they're the products that we know generally speaking are made really well and they're going to last and um there's always you know several options it's not just really expensive or middle of the road you get really good choices. So anyways, took what my husband said and I went and I looked and a hundred dollars for a hundred foot hose. Are you kidding me? Talk about absolutely how inflation has taken over our lives. It is no wonder so many people have to use their credit cards for the things that happen during the month that aren't fixed expenses. And that just keeps adding up and adding up and adding up and interest and, you know, I mean, it, it just seems like it's never ending. And so one of the things that I thought would be really interesting to talk about, because this lady was explaining to me that, you know, she, she loved one of the palettes that I use. She also had bought, purchased this particular influencers line and um but i also had a dupe for this particular brand and i bought it through sheen and we all know that you can get really inexpensive products you got to be careful with them though because some of them have really nasty things in them really really nasty ingredients so you've always got to check what you buy before you actually 
put it on, leave it on. So do a skin test. Take a, just a couple of seconds, do a skin test in one of your sensitive areas to make sure that if you're buying discount, that you are not going to have a reaction to it. Because you can. Truthfully, you can. I know this because I've watched this incredible documentary about makeup and what is happening in the industry and what these discount manufacturers are actually putting in makeup, which just blew me away. I was like, oh my gosh, that's, I don't want to put that on my face. Does the American people know that? So be very, very careful, very, very careful about buying discounted makeup off name brands. Okay. So I thought, well, you know, I understand everybody is struggling and we're all, and we're all trying to find different ways to save money and um, the cost of everything is through the roof and we're at the end of the month, we all look at it and go, oh my God, we're in the negative again, or we got $5 left, or, you know, whatever the situation may be is, we don't have the comfort levels that we had previously. And we are all feeling it. gas, food, insurance, electric bills, gasoline. I mean, you name it and eggs, milk, flour, bread. I mean, it's all just absolutely out of control. One of the things that has always been expensive, always been expensive is clothing. It's just always been that way. When I and and I say this with a caveat that it's clothing that is made so if you wash it one time it doesn't fall apart, okay? So you can go buy really cheap clothing, but the minute you put it in the washer, it's probably going to fall apart and you're going to get one wear out of it. So you're going to not end up. I mean, you've been wasting your money, right? So I, as you know, had weight loss surgery almost three years ago now. And um, for me, I have had to replace a wardrobe because I have gone from, and I'm not ashamed to say this, I've gone from a size 18 down to a size 6, 8. So that's a pretty big change in body mass. And so a lot of the things I can still use by putting belts and that kind of thing on it, but there's just some things that you you just can't. And one of the things that I really, really needed was casual type clothes that would last, that were made well, that were comfortable, and weren't going to break the bank. So I started to do some shopping on Amazon, and I thought, I'm, I'm just going to try and see if the products are any good at all. And if they are, then ready. If they're not, then I haven't, I haven't spent a fortune. So there's, there are these beautiful little cotton dresses, and this is one of them. And I'm gonna stand up and show you, if I can. Nope, go this way. Well, let me just take you down on it so I can show you. So it comes to my knees. It's just a, just a, what I call a, a slip dress. It's just one piece. There's no buttons. There's no zippers. You just put it on. You pull it over your head and put it on. And they are unbelievably comfortable. The material is soft. They breathe. They're um, made impeccably well. They don't pull. The stitching doesn't come apart. You put them in the washing machine. I don't dry them, but I put them in the washing machine, put them on a hanger. And they're unbelievable. And they're less than $20. I'm not joking. $20. There's a couple of other ones that I that I have worn too that are a little bit longer, that have a bit a little bit puffier sleeve, and those are $25. So basically, what I'm saying is I have been able to get seven or eight maybe 10 cool dresses that will take me from spring to winter because of where I live. And they are so incredibly well-made. The material is spectacular. They don't fade. They don't 
pull apart at the seams because you know when you buy something really cheap that's the first place that you start to see breakages here in seams or under here um, the material breeze the material is soft and most importantly I am not breaking the bank now I at first when Amazon came out I was not a big fan because I couldn't really find quality products and I think the key with Amazon is if you see something you like, like in particular this brand, and I'm sorry I don't remember the name of the brand. I will find it though, and I will put it in the, the bottom here so I can put a link in it for you. Um, that wasn't going to break the bank. That I felt was flattering to my new figure. Um, that I could that I could wear from casual. You know, you could you can actually dress this up if you want. You can put some leggings on it, underneath it. When it gets a little bit colder, you can put a little bolero or a little jacket over it or another shirt over it. There's so many things that you can do. I am, as you've seen if you watch me, I love flowers and colors and patterns. And for a very long time, I was black and gray, black and gray, black and gray. And I don't know why I've kind of shifted from that, probably because... This has been a major life change for me, this weight loss. And um, I have always been drawn to florals and pinks and greens and blues and just florals. That's just in my nature. You can see behind me in my home. I am doing, I promised I would do a home video and I will, I promise, but it's probably not until I get back from my overseas trip because I'm in my dining room and my office is in my dining room, as you guys all know. So I don't want to do my video until my house is back to normal, which I promise I will. Um, we're also repairing an upstairs bedroom and completely redecorating it because we've got a roof leak. So I don't want to do that until my house is really put together and I can do a true tour like I did a couple of years ago, which, by the way, is on my YouTube channel. And you, you can look at it look at it if you want um so do i feel like there are um discounted alternatives not just in makeup but in women's fashion absolutely and i think you can find good pieces that fit within your current wardrobe if you're trying to add pieces to it i love these dresses because they are one piece of material well you know they're sewn together here what i mean is there's no buttons and there's no uh zippers anywhere and you can really dress them up. You could dress them up with, uh, you know, real high heel sandals. Um, you can, as I said, put little jackets over them. You can wear leggings underneath them. You can be as casual or as dressy as you want with these. And you're spending so little money that it is worth at least giving it a try. It's kind of the way I look at it. What I did is I bought one and I got it and I really wore it to make sure that I liked it. And then I thought, okay, like that, let's do another one. And so I did another one, and then I did another style. And how I do it is I just go in and I say, okay, this is what I'm going to spend. This is what I'm looking for, colors or whatever. And then I get this list up and look at the list and then decide. And I always do Prime. That's, that's really important. Always do Prime because you'll get free shipping, and you'll get a much, much better delivery option when you use Prime. Um, and voila, the clothing is definitely, definitely, definitely better than Tamu or Sheen. Those are okay, but the quality is much better with these brands. And I, I promise you, I will link this particular one in this video so you can see it, go look at it, and then um, do your own searching. But there are options. You just kind of got to be willing to invest the time. If you're like me, you don't want to go to the malls anymore. I only go to the mall when I am looking for a very specific thing that I know I'm going to struggle with size because my size has changed so much. I can't buy it online because I don't want to buy it online and then it not where I can have to go through that whole rigmarole of returning it. That's another thing about Amazon that has drastically improved. This is the returns. All you got to do now is go to your account, hit the return button, download this, the scanner, 
and take it to either a UPS store or a coal store, and that's it. You're done. Credit's done. And then I, what I always do is I always ask for a Amazon credit back, and then that way I can use that whatever worked for either an exchange or another buy. And then that way I'm, I'm always sort of running ahead on my account. So there are options out there, guys, not just in makeup, but there are options for us ladies who, you know, we like to look good and we like to have choices and but we don't want to spend a lot of money. Amazon is definitely a great opportunity to find really nice clothes. I will tell you too, Two years ago, I bought our, when we went out for our anniversary, I actually bought a very dressy dress from Amazon, and it is amazingly beautiful. The fit, the material, it's chiffon. It is real chiffon. The fit is spectacular. The lace on it is beautiful. And it was only $70. If I went to the department store to buy that dress, I'd have spent $250, bucks, guaranteed. I'd have been, not been as as um, decked out with as many things on it as you can get at the department store, but it was every bit as flattering and beautiful, and my husband still mentions it today. But that's one of his favorite dresses that I wear. So, some food for thought on this July 4th, wherever you are. I hope you have a splendid, splendid day. Be safe. Be with those that you love. Never forget. You are your best supporter. Put your best foot forward every day. Believe in yourself. Give yourself the time every day to put your best foot forward because you just never know who is going to run into you or you're going to run into and how that can change your life forever. Seriously, 10 seconds is all it takes with one first impression to turn your world around. And it does happen. I promise you it does. And you only have 10 seconds and you only have one first impression. You never get another one. So don't waste it. This is Carrie. I hope you have a splendid day. Please, if you would, share this video. Give me a thumbs up. Send me some comments. I'd love to hear comments from you guys. And thank you for being part of my community. And thank you for sending me messages. I so look forward to it every day. It is one of the highlights of my day to read messages from you guys. And I so appreciate it. And if there's a specific content you want, let me know. I'm working on a list. I've got them on a list. Every time I get a request, I've got them on a list. I haven't forgotten. I just haven't gotten to it yet. So God bless. Happy 4th of July. Let's remember just how lucky we are if you live in the United States, how blessed you are to live in this country. Yes, we've got big problems. We do. Maybe if we all came a little bit more to the middle, And we all listened to each other a little bit better. And we all respected each other's opinion. Maybe we wouldn't be in such a mess. But let's never take for granted all the sacrifice from men and women who've gotten us to this point. Our forefathers, their courage, and what they gave all of us is truly astounding. We live in the greatest country in the world. Right now we've got a lot of bruises and a lot of blemishes. But let's work together to reinstate us as the most amazing country on the, on the planet. I still think we are. We just need to erase a few things, fix a few things. And most importantly, we all need to come together. Because a nation divided cannot stand. We need to remember that. And I will see you tomorrow, everyone. Have a blessed day. Stay out of the heat. If you're in Houston, please, please be careful. There are excessive heat warnings out today. They are no joke. If you're going to travel, make sure you always travel with water. And please never leave your pets out in extreme weather. They don't deserve that. They really don't. Please take care of your animals. This is Carrie, and I will see you later. God bless.